Okie dokie. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, um, I was on, I was on YouTube. I was watch, watching, uh, I forget the name of the channel. Um, indie game something. It's got that, uh, it's got that Singaporean kid that's, hello, indie game five. And he was, where he showcases games and this one came up it's called Skull. It's like, it's based on Commodore 64 or something like that. So I heard that. I figured, hmm, I figured I'd give it a go. Now, it's not a free game, so it, I think it costs like 15 bucks, so luckily if if I don't like the game, I I can get a refund, um, but I'm just going to do, uh, this is my first time playing this, I'm just, I got it out of full screen, um, and I guess I'll go ahead and say now one big drawback I see to this game is uh, when, um, when you tab out of the window, it kills the audio. So I'm on OBS right now and I just killed the audio. So and typically typically in-game music sucks. So I'm so there's gonna be a chance that I might end up uh, having a having to throw in my own music. Don't worry, it's it's I'm gonna try to make it as appropriate for the game as possible. But yeah, a lot of this in-game music gets very repetitious, um, if not bad. Well, you can use um. Uh, you can kind of use the controller. But yeah, it, it doesn't show the uh, it doesn't show the controller options. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, for all intents and purposes. You can't use a controller. So. But yeah, like I said, um, this is called against the Black Priory. Um, the the kid said it was based on a like Commodore 64, and I never never owned one back in the 80s, but I have played on one. Um, they used to have also what are called Commodore pet computers. Back in the late 70s, that uh, when I was at uh, elementary school and junior high, we used to play on. I used to play on those a lot, so it's kind of piqued my interest. Uh, I'll just leave everything the way it is. normal. I wonder what hard looks like. Alright, I'm checking my OBS. I'm doing a sound check. Yeah. From my end, it's a little on the loud side. Okay. So you can kind of see the... Uh... Oh. So, Miss Smoothening, I'm guessing what this is, is, um, if Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition is anything to go by, the game's gonna roll three dice and then keep the best one.
Ja. <laughs> if you need, I mean, if you need ten, ten, uh, ten dice, keep the best one. You really shouldn't be playing uh, RPGs. Or hell, just go, just go, uh, watch a playthrough on YouTube. to do something different. They couldn't just say Battle Mage. They gotta say Battle Megals. Alright, I gotta... Yeah. Just, I gotta turn the music down a bit. Like I said, I are one big drawback to this game. When you tab out of the window, it kills the sound. I need the uh, music to still be going in the background, because if, especially if I was streaming this game, I'm gonna be uh, tabbing between windows a lot. So. Uh, check OBS again. Okay, gotta stay close enough. guys just say battle mage not battle mangles it just gotta be different <sighs> I mean on one end I get they're you know they're trying to be different but we all I mean I mean RPGs have been in existence since I think the 70s it's pretty well known you know the six attributes you know Strength, dexterity, um, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. But yeah, they gotta be, I mean, presence. Charisma, same thing, you know. But anyway, I gotta look at that. So, cleric. Cool. Nice little touch here. I don't know if you guys can see it, though. Okay, you guys can. Range strikers that can cast power. Something in me is telling me that the uh, the misspelling is intentional. Like they're trying to give off a vibe that this game was made by a bunch of college kids in a hurry or something. Okay, so I'm kind of getting it. Arms Master, they, um... 
So Arms Master is going all in on Warrior. Battle Mage is a... Okay, so yeah, they're supposed to be a combination of uh, Warrior and Wizard. Champion, combination of uh, Warrior and Cleric. Guild, Mago, Guild Mage goes all in on Magic. Hierophant, same thing, goes all in on a uh, goes all in on uh, cleric magic. Paladin. Again, it, it sounds kind of nitpicky, I know. Have you ever seen the movie Coming to America, like uh, McDowell's? I, I, I forget, uh, it's been years since I've seen it, but, you know, McDonald's restaurant, they're supposed to compete with McDonald's. I mean, you know, what does, you know, what does McDonald's have that we don't type stuff? Again, I'm kind of getting the, uh, same vibe here. It's a paladin. You know, part cleric, you know, part cleric, or I should say part healer, part, you know, part tank. It's basically... Kind of like the Paladin class in World of Warcraft. You stand the crowd against Overwind. Body magic. Um, healing and like cure light wounds and cause light wounds. Never heard that. Support. Force multiplier through their attack. What? This is a word I never heard. I never heard. This is a word I've never heard in any RPG. Force multiplier. That's um. I think that's the term. Uh, like uh, covert covert organizations like the CIA, FBI, uh, I think Navy SEALs, etc. Um, this is the term they use. Force multiplier. Like uh, if you uh, you go out into the field, like say Vietnam, if you uh, if you train a Vietnamese soldier, he's gonna turn around and train a bunch of his own friends and buddies, and so instead of having just one extra Vietnamese soldier, now you got a whole bunch of other soldiers. Like I said, it's a force multiplier. Issuing orders across the battle, but it, it's basically um, warrior and uh, support. Arranged warrior, okay. But yeah, once again, I, I'm sorry if that sounds kind of nitpicky, but it just... It's kind it's It's giving off a vibe of trying too hard. Like, it's really trying to differentiate itself from all those other RPGs. Again, the uh, McDowell's principle, I guess if you want to call it that. They had Monk in here. So I'm guessing body magic is uh, healing magic. want to try soloing this okay I remember this yeah um, there was at least one computer game back in the 80s that I played that had this selecting a background and uh, each background gives you a bump
Okay. Um, it's been about 15 minutes, so I... I'll just pick that one. Yeah, I gotta... I gotta kinda hurry this. I wanna do at least a little bit of the gameplay. Just balance it up. driving me nuts. I'm sure I'm going to need all these at some point. Um, stunning blow. Okay. Weapons Grandmaster. Body magic it. Learn two notes of balance and body. Um Mind magic, spirit magic. Strength, cure, moderate poison, minor lay on hands, serpent's grace. Um, okay, see, so you can't see it. Just gonna randomize it. Normally I would say, come on man, it's 2024, not 1995, but this, I think this game was meant to be, you know, like a, like a Commodore 64, so something like this would make more sense. I mean, technology wasn't quite there, so... I'm just giving this Okay, so you can just click on, you can just click on it and you'll, you'll walk to it.
Control. Yeah, bash it open. And then um, after this combat, um, I'll go ahead and call it good. And man walking. Injured arm. Injured leg. Is that me? So you can't cure poison with it. Grab some taters. So, God, I don't want to do that. Okay, so my um, so my quick capsule review on it, not a bad game. Um, as far as uh maybe streaming it, uh, I'd probably, I probably could, but I'd have to turn the in-game music off, cause, again, every time I every time I tab out of the game, it kills the audio. So, yeah, I'd have to, I'd have to play my own music, which doesn't have, which doesn't have this problem. Um, I guess, uh, as far as when I'd, when I'd, uh, when I'd stream this game, I guess when I, when I get a free moment, I guess, 
But, um, I mean, something else I forgot to mention, too, at the start of this video. Um, a little history about about me and RPGs. They're my favorite game genre. Um, I've loved them ever since probably as far back as, like, the 70s, early 80s, when I first heard about Dungeons & Dragons. Um, just... There was, like, a board game called Dungeon. There was, a uh, There was, like, a... An electronic... Like, a Mattel electronics figurine game. I don't remember the name of it, but it had, like, silver miniatures, you know, Hero Dragon. Um, but, yeah, basically, I've loved RPGs ever since the, uh, late 70s, early 80s, when I first heard of Dungeons & Dragons. And in case anyone's curious, nope, never played it before. Or never played the tabletop version. And the few ses the, uh, the few, uh, sessions that I had seen over the years, I wouldn't be able to sit still. Uh, pinball and video games got me first. So, but anyway, uh, but yeah, that's, that's my, um, that's my verdict. There's, uh, there was another game I played called Amberland. Uh, for, uh, for a time, I did stream that game. But I just, I got burned out on it at some point. I think there was something else about the game that really killed it for me. I can't remember what. But, um, this game here, Skull, it's kind of heading that way. Like I said, I can't see me streaming this game in the future, but I've got to use my own in-game music. Or have to use my own personal music for my own playlist, not the in-game stuff. Again, if only because... When I stream, I alt tab between windows a lot. So, so, but uh, otherwise, um, that that's gonna do it. I think I've done all the things I wanted to do on this game. So, I had a lure. Uh, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.